what is popping you guys my 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 gemini it is i it is me it is she it is vera happy new year welcome to 2021 baby where we are all here to have fun baby we have all come with the intentions to have fun this year baby shout out to all my og shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked like shared and to subscribe to this video or to any one of my videos thank you guys for coming in the room and saying what's up to you know me Rashi Vera. it is scorpion reds um we're here to find out what the energies are surrounding gemini for uh january 2021 if there's anyone who would like to connect with me uh in regards to the energy that comes out today or if you want to book a personal or private reading. Or if you guys just want to come and just share some love and just give some thanks to the page in the form of a love offering. Or however you want to, you know, support the page. Check the description of this video or you can click the bio of my YouTube page. It gives you the way to connect with me. You can connect with me through Instagram, Messenger, or you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. So, Gemini, let's get into the reading for today. You guys know that we always say a prayer before we get into any information that the Lord has to give us. So if you wouldn't mind, bow your head with me and let's pray. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Gemini. You know, we are just like destined. We are determined to just like show up and show out in the future. You know, Gemini got some plans this year, okay? Gemini said when they came in 2021, they had some plans, okay, in mind <laughs> for how their future was going to look. In the name of Jesus, amen, shalala. So listen, we're about to help Gemini with the plans, okay? So, Father God, I think you already know what the plan is. And you may have your own little sprinkle of, you know, divine justice. <laughs> you want to me? Why am I feeling like divine justice? I just really feel like everything that Gemini set out to have in 2020, if they didn't get it, or if there was a blockage or delay, they coming forward in 2021. Like, Gemini is coming, okay? Get out the way. Hey, get out the way, okay? Listen, Gemini said get out the way. They is coming. Coming, 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 coming for every single thing that they feel has their name on it. So they're coming to get it, Father God, and help us obtain it. So, Father God, help us with these plans. So, Jesus... Give us the guidance that we need today for the lovely sign of Gemini for January 2021. We're here to have fun, Father God. We thank you so much for just keeping us just feel so uplifted and just happy, Father God. We are just so happy for just peace and solitude. Listen, because we need the time to think, okay? So, Father God, give us the guidance that we need today for Gemini. Thank you so much, so much, so much, so much for all of the past, present, and future guidance that you have given us and that we have yet to receive. In the name of Jesus, amen. Shalala, hold on. All right, come on, shalala. Let me take a sip. Hold on. All right, you guys. Let's get into this. So, I'm going to use my Edgar Allen pole deck. That just came in in December, like the tail end of December. So this is new. And then also today we will be using the Mystic Moon Oracle deck and her tarot deck in the love section. Okay. So right now we're about to do general energy. But you know, finance career could come out. Love could come out. Family could come out. Like personal other stuff could come out. So we just about to see what's going on with my Gemini's for January. 2021. All right, let me get three cards for my Gemini's. Thank you so much. Oh, my, my. Gemini, what you got cooking up? Ooh. Mm -mm. Hold on now. <laughs> Give me guidance. Give me guidance for my Gemini's. Thank you so much. Give me three cards. Thank you. So oh, damn. Page of Swords. The magician. And what is this? The high row fence. Okay. Okay. I got reloaded. Now, Gemini, what do I spy with my naked eye? Okay. What you looking at, Gemini? 
What is you looking? What is you cooking up, my dear? Okay? What are you looking? And what is you cooking? Okay? Ooh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he write the song? I got a spell on, I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. <laughs> Why did that pop into my head? I put a spell on you. <laughs> you know the song from Hocus Pocus? Why did Hocus Pocus just pop in my head, y'all? Listen. I don't know what you got your evil eye on. I'm so serious. Like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know if you got your evil eye on something. Somebody got their evil eye on you. You know, this is the spy card. This is like a spy on a camp. This is someone doing some type of deep research or like trying to get a deeper outlook into something and they may be dedicating a lot of time and effort in trying to discover something it's like someone's trying to discover some type of information or something like that um you know this car isn't particularly a good car in typical nature but it can it can be looked at as like a deep point of discovery like someone Day in and day out, day in and day out, only thing that they're trying to do is spend all their time educating themselves about something, an issue. You know what I'm saying? So they could be researching something good. They could be researching something bad. Like I said, like stalking, investigating someone, like a secret private investigator or something. They're so deep in their research because when they present the evidence they want to have, backed up resources they want to have proof they want to have facts you know like i saw you because i got pictures or because you know what i'm saying something to that level it's deep it's like deep rooted energy right here um and it's like you're taking your time to do this. I really do feel like a strong level of deep dedication here. Like this magician card is telling me that you guys um, have owned your craft. You guys feel very powerful. You feel like you can manipulate elements to your pleasing to kind of get what you want. It's like you've seen what you've seen. You believe what you believe. You have facts. You have proof. You've been lurking or like on a stakeout. With a little bit of takeout in your car. Okay, a little stakeout with a little takeout in your car. <laughs> like, bitch, I'm about to order me some um, chicken and mumble sauce with some salt, pepper, ketchup. Because I'm going to be sitting here for a minute. Because I'm about to watch this bitch. Do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm so serious. It's just like, you got the power and the wisdom and all of the tools that you need to succeed now. Because it's like, you you got what you need to, you got what you need to do now, you know? So, why am I getting this like, a force power of, like, commitment? I, I don't know if I'm getting like, someone studied someone. So that they can have some type of information or leverage or some type of way to kind of force someone in the box. Because <laughs> like, like this hierophant is like a mummy in a box or something. It's like mummified. I'll throw your ass in the box and shit. And I'll fucking worship you from the death or something. Like God, I don't want to say that. It's like what the fuck? What the fuck is going on right now, bro? Like this shit is wild as shit, mo. But it's I'm serious. I am literally getting here. It's like someone studied some someone or something so much that they have a power or leverage over someone to like force some type of commitment to have them in the box, lock and key, and could get them to commit and operate and to maneuver within this set of rules and you can't move and you can't wiggle your way out of it it's like you're trapped you're stuck you have to be committed to this now like it's like i use my power almost to force you into that way and i wouldn't typically have looked at it like that if this page of swords isn't there like this is someone with meticulous Spent a lot of hours doing some fucking research and studying how to 
it's like best leverage of fair trade. You know what I'm saying? So fair trade ain't no robbery. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like this person had the power, the gift of gab. If you study someone so good, you can give them an offer that they can't refuse. Do you understand? But the power of the magician, the magician, you know exactly what you're doing. You know how you're leveraging yourself. You know what you're fucking doing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, oh. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Jim Ma Nye. <laughs> what is the fuck going on here? Like, again, this is like. This is rules, a contract, um, some type of engagement, um, marriage, um, a job, some type of traditionary, you know, type of thing. It's like someone to do something in a traditional standard set for this organization. So how whatever the rules of this house or this organization or um, a culture standard, you know what I'm saying? It could be I think a, a cultural thing. And make it be something that may give someone cultural shock, but you agreed to do it. You agreed to change your religion. You agreed to, you know, do things my way. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. Even the evil laugh. Like, no. Okay, hold on. Give me two cards, Jesus. Please help me figure out what is going on with this Gemini situation. Give me one more card, Father God, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. The Three of Clubs and the Nine of Hearts. So again, the Three of Clubs is a situation where it's um, it's a work situation, but it is uh, it's like a part time job, you know. It's like a part time job, like a partial success. It's it's not like a full victory. You still have a lot of work to do. You still have a lot of learning. So it's like you may have to teach someone how to do something that can bring fulfillment for you and everybody. So like the three of clubs is where it's more than just one person engaged into this atmosphere. So this person is receiving help. This person is receiving assistance. This person is learning something, being put under someone's wing to educate someone on a new standard of life, a new standard of living, a new trade, a new focus, a new skill. Do you understand? So it's like someone is, to, and again, this is the Hierophant. So this is... Uh, some type of spiritual group, uh, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, it could even be like a Facebook group, legitimately. So, like, this could be like some private Facebook group that everyone doesn't have access to. You might have to do a test. Like, you might have to pass a test. You might have to study to pass a test to answer certain questions, have a password or something like that. Or there's a gatekeeper to let you into this thing, you know, and you kind of have to learn a different standard of living or a different skill of some sort. And again, it's not just you and your initial colleague. It could be somebody else. It's a third party type of thing. It's like two other people help, uh, uh, showing you the way, you know, or you could be learning the way by watching other people do work. Like you could be an apprentice. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, so you may not have all of the tools necessary because this is something you just started. So you may not, you may not have all of the tools necessary to perform this job or this task by yourself. That's why these other people are aiding you or watching you or coaching you along the way to make sure that there's some type of emotional fulfillment for you, your colleague, and the coach. You know what I'm saying? So... That's basically what this is saying to me. So, and I'm being called to read this. It says, if you wish to forget anything on the spot, make note that this thing is to be remembered. So, with that, I'm, I'm telling you with this because, again, this is someone, I, I feel like this is someone that was studied and was tricked. They were given an offer that they couldn't refuse into this lifestyle, into this group, into this contract, into this commitment, into, you know, this organization. 
So if you're having to change who you are and you have to live by these people's standard of rules, what this is basically telling me, like, you could be all gone whole for this, but don't forget who the fuck you are trying to live up. Because these people are trying to, I feel like someone is trying to change somebody. Mm. And in this three of clubs says words have no power to impress the mind without the exquisite horror of their reality. Did y'all hear that? I want to tell y'all be careful about what you are committing yourself to. I don't know if it's you that need to study this, this group like a book. Or this group has studied you like a book. <laughs> but it's somebody here that is leveraging their self by some information and someone is getting an offer that they can't refuse someone is being taken under the wing of like an organization leader they're coaching this person they're showing this person this new standard this way of life how to fit into this group and everything and if you're going to commit to this this and again this could even be a relationship like i said you could be changing your religion or just your standard of life whatever it is just remember who the fuck you were before you committed yourself to this because whatever this is i feel like it's going to be a complete overhaul like you don't even it's like you're under the power of the magician like you don't even you're going to forget who you are it's like this person is going to change you to who the fuck they want you to be or who this group wants you to be it's like you have to forget. If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make note that this thing is to be remembered. Mm. Let me clarify the three of clubs just to make sure I'm not tripping. Because, listen, let me make sure. Let me make sure. Okay. The three of clubs. Practical developments in business or social matters, expanding opportunities, growth and advancement, the use of common sense and good judgment, a development in business uh, uh, enterprise, a three way deal or partnership, business collaborations, three or more people, a clover, leaf, good luck and fortune, circumstances, something growing, plants, hair, nails, increasing understanding or expanding one's knowledge based on learning new things. It can represent both formal training and self edification. All right. All right. So, okay. I was okay. Anyway. So, and again, like the nine of the nine of hearts, this is just like wish granted. And you know what I'm saying? Like Everything that your heart has ever dreamed of, like you getting your dreams, it means a wish, a hope, a dream, aspirations, your wishes coming through, success, accomplishment, desires to fulfill a positive outcome. All right. So this is good. Like you're learning something. But again, I'm just seriously, it's, it's disappear. I don't necessarily like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. And again. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I want to go a little bit deeper, but I'm not. I am not. I'm going to leave that right here. I'm going to leave that to y'all. Give me guidance and love. Give me three more cards, please. Oh, we got the egg. Okay. All right. Ooh. Ooh, we got protection. Come on, Jesus. Ooh, we got the voyage. Yells. Taking off like a rocket. You got incubation in the eggs. You look like you got a nice little nest egg there, honey. All right. I like that. You got protection. Give it to me. Ooh. Was that something? My friends gave me. Give me one more, please. Okay. You gave me a whole bunch more. You got 777. All right, I'll put that right there. You got tidal wave in the reverse. Uh, I'm definitely taking this. And then you got feathers. This is protection too. This one came out in the reverse. Hmm. Those feathers up there. 
it's like someone with that. Whenever I see feathers, um, cause you ever been walking somewhere and just you just see feathers just falling from the sky somewhere, or like a little feather, like I don't know, like it's like a smallest little feather just come brush past your nose or your face, like it could have came out of a pillow or something or somebody's jacket or something, you know, like someone's goose down jacket and got feathers flying off. <laughs> like, so typically when I see feathers just floating around from nowhere, it's like spiritual guidance. It's like. God or your spiritual your spiritual guides are like the angels are trying to send you down a message and it's like when I see that it's like pay attention. They're sending you a sign about something. Um I wanna say like it's an ignored. I don't wanna say like you're intentionally ignoring something. Whatever this group is, it's like you you feel like you're doing the right thing. You're committing yourself to something, you know. You feel like you're doing the right thing, and I want to say you you are because you're trying to set a different standard by yourself. I just don't feel like the way that you came about doing it was. I feel like someone manipulated you into something. It's I I don't like that. I I really don't like that. You have the tidal wave in the reverse. This means a disturbance. So. I do feel like you're avoiding some type of disturbance in some type of way. Um, they're saying to just stay committed to who you are and don't do anything that you don't want to do. Like, honestly, if you want to commit to this group or if you want to change your lifestyle, please do it because you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? That way you really don't need any any protection because you could protect yourself. Do you understand? Don't do anything that you don't want to do. Don't let anybody disturb your life. Because people will literally sit back and study you and watch you and think that they know what's best for you. And you need to follow their rules. You need to follow their instructions. You need to do this. You need to do that. Because it's going to please you and everybody else. Because this three of clubs here, it's like... Again, a third party affair. It's not just to the benefit of you. It could be to the benefit of you, your girl, and your girl's mother. You know what I'm saying? Or you, your boyfriend, and your boyfriend's father. Because whatever you about to go into business with them or whatever, like this is something that, you know, like some type of family business or like some type of family hustle or... It's something like that because hearts represents like the trust of family and people that you know on a very, very personal level. But the nine of hearts means a lot of personal success. So it's like your personal success and gain and you thriving in this organization or whatever it is, is that you're committed to is going to help other people come up, not just you. So if you're going to do something, make sure that you do it because you want to do it. And you want to work with these people and that you're not feeling forced or manipulated. Because one way or another, you're going to see your way around and shit. And you're going to realize what these people were doing to you. And I don't want you to be in no forced commitment or no forced engagement. That's all I'm saying. Because words have no power to impress the mind without the exquisite horror of their reality. I want you to remember that it says this. And if you wish to forget anything on the spot, make sure that you, no. If you yeah, if you wish to forget anything on the spot, make sure you take a note that this thing is to be remembered. I'm seeing someone tying that little red string over their finger, so it's like they won't forget who they want's words. Like I, I, it's like there's something about somebody letting something change you. It says 777 rapid soul developments that come from challenging times. And then you've got protection here. Again. Cause I I'm I'm forced to read this shit clockwise like this. It's like I'm getting like the world right here. Cause it ends with the voyage. It ends with a voyage. Why am I feeling like 
this is telling me because it's not even giving me love right now. It's probably love in regards to some type of work experiences or y'all trying to work something the fuck out with someone, some type of commitment or something. But I want to say in the first because you were just following your heart or doing what you felt guided to do. Or you, you know, it's like you felt like you were being around the right people. I don't think you felt like people were trying to throw your ass in a goddamn coffin and put a lid on you and just like keep you trapped there or something. It's like, why am I getting the image of like someone? It's like someone trapped in a house or something like that. It's like someone being kept in a house. It's like, oh gosh. Because it's like a mummy is like a mummified. It's like a dead person in a box. So it's like it could be a dead situation at home or it could be dead. You know what I'm saying? But it's still being worshipped like that's still my wife. That's still my husband. Yeah, it's a dead relationship at home. But I'm still honoring this commitment type of thing. So I went ahead and got married anyway, even though it was dead, you know, because I'm just trying to honor and do the right thing. But now I feel, I, it's like I kind of feel like someone feels trapped. They didn't feel like they need protection for for some reason, but it's like, it's like someone trying to avoid a disaster. Someone learning something through challenging times. It's, it's like it's like you didn't think that you needed protection. Like you were doing the best thing that you should that you were doing for you and everybody. But I don't think you really understood the situation and how much the, this situation was going to change you until you had to experience the horror of what the actual reality is. You know what I'm saying? Words have no power to impress without the exquisite horror of their reality. So, like, this is like someone having to learn by physically experiencing something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could tell someone something, but they ain't going to understand it until they experience it for themselves. You know? It's like you kind of went in without protection, but it's like you still were protected. But God had to put you through this shit to teach you how to protect yourself and not to be easily swayed and manipulated to commit yourself to shit. Because I feel like it was dead on arrival almost. You got the incubation. So he's like eggs. Eggs to me represent kids or nest eggs like money. You know what I'm saying? Like a nest eggs. Uh, but incubation could mean to, to like pregnancy, children, something like that. You know, or it's like you have something that you're sitting on. And then you got this voyage here. So I'm kind of getting like a fucking nest egg. Why am I getting that? Because it just has anything to do with business. It's like you got into this business. They're saying, they're saying to me, it's like... Some shit is working out for everybody else except for you almost. It's like. I want to say someone feels left out of the equation in some way. Why am I feeling like that? Why am I feeling this y'all? I'm just really feeling this on a deep level. It's like someone could be left home with the kids. It's like. That's my safe little home. That's my safe little nest egg. I'm still committed to it. But it, I, I, I don't know why I feel like if something was dead on arrival. Someone knew. It's like someone knew that if they could get someone to commit to this contract, to this agreement, to this marriage, to this commitment, whatever the fuck it was, that it was like safe little nest egg, stuck at home, trapped in a box. You know, I still worship you and as the mother, as the father, as the creator of, you know, or, you know, as the creator of whoever drew these eggs or something like that. It's like I still respect you in that way, but I got to go. Like, oh, shit, you know, I swear, this shit fucking me up, man. 
this shit fucking me all the way up. Let me, let me, let me clarify. Cause it's like it's going to take off my pocket, and I'm also feeling like once someone realizes this shit, they going to hustle enough to get a nice little nest egg, and they're going to leave. Cause it's the way that you came into trying to get me into this organization that I don't like. Like I don't, I, I feel the way now. It's like it's like now that I'm looking at this shit. It's like, now nah, I really didn't protect myself before I got this contract. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to learn on my own. You know what I'm saying? But at that time, it was what I wanted. Do you understand? At that time, it was what I wanted. I had to learn rapid soul developments from challenging times. So you had to walk through that door to experience it for yourself for you to learn that shit. But still, God was protecting you. And I still feel like you walked away with a little nest egg. Look, once you hit it, you hit it. Do you understand? Once it hits you, bitch, you hit the dough. Like, you ain't even play. You completely avoided a disturbance, a tidal wave. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't. Remember when I said, like, a part-time job? It was like, it's like, you not, you still studying. It was like, you were, you went in that deep or something like that. I mean, if you got kids, you probably are. But it says the King of Pentacles. I like that. The King of Pentacles. What is this? The Eight of Cups. I told you someone walked away. Someone the fuck walked away. Someone walked away, bruh. Do you hear me? The Eight of Pen the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups? Didn't I say someone hustled enough money to take care of everybody involved? So the third party could be the children or like a, 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 a responsibility to family or something. But it's like, this person is going to feel manipulated and this person is leaving. Leaving. But they're still going to take care of the family, though. It's like, this person is still going to take care of the kids. I know that much. I know that much. That person, King of, the King of Pentacles is not going nowhere without their motherfucking kids. So I'm letting you know that right now. Not going anywhere without them goddamn babies. You got the King of Pentacles fucked up. And then what else is in here? You got the Ten of Wands. Again, someone putting down a burden. It's like, this ain't going to work out for me. And then you got the Two of Wands. Looking onto foreign roads. You know? Someone that is definitely looking on to foreign roads. New paths. You know? Knowing, you know, that there's something better left for them out there. They released a burden. Something was too heavy. And again, I feel like someone was manipulated into some type of commitment. So they avoided a tidal wave right here. It's like, no, 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 no. Uh, I did whatever I did because I wanted to do it. I didn't feel like I needed protection. But now that I'm real, now that I look back at something, it's like someone clearly sees the picture now. It's like you told me what you, what I wanted to hear so that could benefit you and your other children or uh, it could benefit you and your pocket or it could it's because uh, uh, it's like some type of third party right there so I, I feel like it's the third party is children I feel like the third party is fucking children it's like someone could have had a lot of children But it's like this man is moving away because he's evolving. Like he's evolving. And with this incubation, like there could be another child on the way or something like that. Like there's a lot of children here. But it's like this man is evolving. This man is evolving. And this, regardless if this person is leaving, leaving or not, they're still going to be a very committed father. Like regardless. Regardless. But they're definitely putting down the burden. They're not going to do it no more. Look, planning and decisions. I'm trying to see. I'm serious. Like, this person is, like, putting their outreach hat on. Like, they're reaching out to other destinations, other people, other places, other things. Like, leaving. Like, as soon as it's like someone's going to have some type of idea. Like, no, this is not what I thought it was going to be. And then, and then the Queen of Pentacles is at the bottom. So, it's like, whoever this King of Pentacles is, they need someone that's just like them. 
that same nurturing giving spirit not some type of manipulative like that manipulative shit they don't like that shit because it's like you didn't even have to do all of that to get me to stay or to get me to commit like why did you even do that shit anyway let me get some guidance from the rooms and we up out of here let me get please just give me two Give me two rooms for Gemini for January. Thank you so much. Oh, just gave me one. Just gave me one. So this is, uh, uh, this means good fortune, positive change, positive outcome, power being restored, um, enrichment, upliftment, triumph, happiness, good health. Keep moving forward to hold on to success. That's basically what this means. This is like a major arcana. So, um, Whoever this is that's leaving this King of Pentacles, uh, that's leaving this situation, like this person knows what they're doing. I feel like this is a good person and they're going to do the best that they can for their kids. And I feel like because someone felt manipulate, manipulated, someone felt manipulated and they felt powerless and it's like they are restoring their power, like they're taking their power back. And I want to say that they feel stronger and Things could be, it'll work better for everyone if everyone is kind of separated but works together. That, that's how I'm getting, like, I feel like when this person was, I, I really, I just feel like, honestly, whatever happened here, things are better when people work separately for the same cause. You know what I'm saying? It's like we don't have to be all up under each other. You know what I'm saying? Like someone is avoiding a disaster. Again, like the eight of cups. Someone is evolving. It's like, you know, things don't even have to be this way. You didn't have to do all of that. I'm still going to take care of my kids. Like this part. Okay. Give me one more room and I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. And I know me asking that it's probably going to give me 15. Uh, but give me one more. Okay, yeah, yeah, so what this is basically saying, this means like the, f the female uh, means generation, and, and again, it means regeneration of power, nurturing, birth, fertility, renewal, a promise of a new beginning. The springtime is highlighted right now, means deep bonds. So uh, this person honestly feels like when I'm getting here, this male this male energy here feels by moving away, it gives people did number one, you gonna free me out of this box. Like I I agreed to work with you and commit to you and you know what I'm saying that we're gonna do everything in the standard and the traditional way of life, but that don't mean that you're gonna trap me and keep me like cause this could be male or woman energy. Like I, whoever this is that feels like it's like this person predicted their answer. This person knew what they was. This person read you like a book. Then they're saying hook, line, and crook. Oh, God. Read you like a book, hook, line, and crook. Oh, my goodness. So, what this is saying, like, there's a restoration of feminine power here. You know, like, again, this man needs someone that's nurturing. Nurturing. You know? And again, this means birth. Like, so someone is about to have a fucking baby. There's about to be another baby here. I want to say it's like separation for the children's sake because it's more health here. We could work better that way. It's like you're not going to force me to commit because you over there being manipulative, using your magic and tricks and shit. I have to avoid my and again i feel like people were not having protected sex like there's definitely there's definitely kids right here like someone's pregnant someone's fucking pregnant and then what do we have here this means okay so number one this means a job well done joy comfort pleasure fellowship prosperity harmony harmony um someone being determined like a determination so it's like for the, it's like someone is determined to restore the power in someone's family and to like have a healthy, nurturing, feminine 
energy around the household and around these children, you know, and around these procreations and things like that. Like they're asking God for protection to respect to restore power and I don't know I'm really getting this like I don't know if I need to leave to give more space so that they can be more free or healthy thinking but I gotta do what I gotta do and then with this being here that shit going down that means disloyalty shortfalls lack of planning you know what I'm saying inexperience set up <laughs> shortfalls loss do you understand what I'm saying so uh, okay, it's like, again, someone felt said that shit started going down. Someone felt set up. Like I said, manipulated. Disloyalty. It's like, and the reason why I'm saying that is because, and it's like this person wants so bad for a strong, nurturing, loving beautiful woman you know what I'm saying like someone that's healed clarity you know like the way that this person did this shit right here was not cool because if what you really wanted you should have did it with honor and upright this means honor it means justice it means leadership victory you know it means someone doing something for the greater good. It means a warrior. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if you really wanted things to go the right way, you could have you could have fought that fight a different way. If you action if you actually like did things rationally with good planning, and if it was certain things that you were willing to sacrifice about yourself to make things happen instead of trying to manipulate someone and do something, do things the dishonorable way, you know, I wouldn't have had to leave. And I really want to say it's like I will come back when you get your shit together and you and you could be this nurturing woman that I require, that I desire. Because remember I told you it was the what? The Queen of Pentacles right here at the bottom of the deck. This King of Pentacles needs a Queen of Pentacles. Not someone that's over here a manipulating goddamn this magician and shit. Like I, I just mm-mm. 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 But anyway, I'm rolling out. Gemini, this has been your reading. I love you. Thank you for loving me. This energy could have been, you know, energy is fluid. It could be vice versa. So take it how it resonates and whatever don't resonate. Don't take it, but learn from the lesson. I keep trying to tell people that. Thousands of people watch these videos over time. You know, some people go back to videos and watch it a year later and it's just now resonating. You know, so... In every video that you watch, even if it doesn't resonate with you, you can damn sure learn a lesson from the story. So let that be your blessing. I love you guys. Thank you for loving yourself. And again, you know, um, this man loves his kids. And he's going to be a good man. And he's going to do what he got to do for these kids. Someone here had to learn a, had to learn a lesson about not being manipulative. You don't have to do things like that to get things to go your way. You know? So, you might have, it's like this person might not have been protected by your force at that time. They didn't see the signs, but they damn sure seen it later. It didn't take him that long to see the shit. What, three months? Three weeks? Three years? That's all it took? But that three made that person leave. By that number three, that person left. I don't know if it's three weeks, three months, three years. That's all you got. So I got to go. Love you. Peace.